Closet. I'm side out show. Close it is. Yes, and you know the show is brought to you by Vodafone. Today's episode promises to be very, very, very exciting. My name is Nana Tifo. And I am Premier Dunyami. The show is proudly brought to you by Vodafone Ghana. The future is exciting. When you know you have something amazing coming, mm. you don't just talk too much. Let's go for a break. When we come back, we will thrill you with a beautiful show. That's right. Coming up on the Upside Down Show, we have a conversation with lawmaker, member of parliament for Asawasi constituency, and chief whip of the NDC caucus, Honorable Mubarak Mohammed Muntaka, as he talks about politics, growing up, family, and speaks about his role in the 8th Parliament inauguration showdown on the show. Welcome back, guys. Today's conversation promises to be very, very exciting. I am super excited about it because this personality is an interesting individual. No, he's a whole mood, you know, he's a whole institution. And um, yeah, I can really yeah. bet that we're going to have a great time this definitely, evening. But definitely, before that, definitely. you know, I just love anything about food and mm -hmm. drinks, you know, it's my calling. Yeah. And we have some amazing ladies here, and I really love what I'm seeing. Yeah. Um, I saw. Exactly. Welcome to the Upside Down Show. Thank you. So what do you have today? Mm -hmm. Today we have uh, Burkina mm. and then we have Tose. Wow. Mm. wow. What was wow. Tose? Uh, it's Pito, the sweet part of Pito. Okay, why? Oh, okay. There's a bitter Pito? Yeah, that's the mm -hmm. Pito itself. Yeah. Okay. And then the yeah. sweet part is called the Tose. The tose. Okay. okay. Yeah. And the white bowls? The white bowls consist of uh, Tose mm -hmm. and then uh, uh, soup stew. Wow. Mm. Mm. So, so we're going all the way Paris. to mm -hmm. north uh -huh. and then through Aswasi, you know, and back to Accra. Yeah. Now, the man we are talking about today mm -hmm. is one whole personality that we all admire. You know, I don't know, you know, that. so I'm very excited getting closer to him today yeah. because he yeah. always seemed kind of serious, yeah. you know. I said, I know why you're serious. Yeah, being, so today you know? we're going to find out the lighter side of the man. You yeah. know, so so <laughs> he is gradually becoming a Mugabe in his constituency. Yeah, that's true. You know, before the election, mm -hmm. I was in his constituency. Yeah. You know, on the program constituency, yeah. and by the time I was leaving mm -hmm. the area, I, I just told myself that look, whoever is going to be contesting this man There's has no serious <laughs> issues because his people really, really, really love him, and he's really do. done well do. for his they people. Do. And do. then he retains his seats. Mm -hmm. He gets to parliament. Yeah. And he has to justify why he is the <laughs> NDC caucus chief whip, you know. Yeah. And so he has to display some kind of Shaolin mm -hmm. moves, you know, flying yeah. in the skies to protect, you know, their um, election. Man you know, pass for... man. So, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> please help us welcome our guest for today, the Honorable Member of Parliament for Asawase, yeah. the Honorable Mohammed Mubarak the... Muntaka. <laughs> All right. Oh, wow. all right, all right. Good to see all of you. Good to yeah. see you too. You're welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hope you're doing good. I'm, I'm not doing bad at mm. all. You always appear very serious. You know, I mean. Sure. Do, 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 do you oh. smile? Do you have any mm -hmm. fan sides? I, I do. I mm. do. I smile a lot. If you ask my colleagues. In our inner circles, I can create a lot of laughter. Oh, know. really? Oh, great. <laughs> well, we'll see if we can have some of that laughter tonight oh, we'll on the show. Mm -hmm. also, but before we start, I mean, we have UF here. They, they brought some drinks. Uh -huh. So apparently they have Tosi and they have Burkina. Wow. So what can we offer you? Ooh. This is tradition, you know. <laughs> wow. We don't uh, have cola. Yeah. Maybe we can do that later. Oh, mm -hmm. no, 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 we are taking oh, yeah. our West now, so... <laughs> I mean, I am but, taking a couple of the two so... You know, okay. a calabash. Mm, no, there's yeah. a calabash. Wow. Yes. wow. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome, awesome, So, awesome. so um, Tose is fine. Well, what I would do? Mm. Oh, Rob, you are spoiling the fan. <laughs> oh, sorry. You know, I'm not food fan. Mm. Really? Uh, if, if you... If I could give you my, any of my wife's number. Call. Tell hey, how many wives do you have? I have two. We'll talk about that uh, later. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. bravo. Yeah. Yeah. What is my favorite food? You struggle. The, mm. the, the, the senior one, 23 years, and she, she will not be able to tell you. Really? Mm. Yes. The second one, almost 10 years. She, because I'm not fine. Is there any food. special reason? Yeah. Well, maybe because of the poverty I grew in uh, from. Mm. Uh, so you run from food. <laughs> yeah, from food. Because I do run away. I run no, but now, but now food. life's so good. You, so you're used to doing things without food. Yeah, but now there's food. No, there's food. No, so yeah, 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 you know, yeah. life is good. But so you know, that's how life can be funny. I mean, when you are poor, you can't afford. Mm -hmm. When you can't afford, they say for medical reasons, check yeah. this, check that. Exactly. So you don't know. My mother will say, "Oh, 
after all this wala, this small chicken I want to eat, you they say mm -hmm. I should not eat. Mm. After death, it will come when it will come. So a little me... small. <laughs> <laughs> so so yeah. whilst we are waiting for mm -hmm. our drinks, yeah. um, tell us about Muntaka. Who is Muntaka? Well, interestingly, Muntaka is my surname. Oh, okay, wow. so your first name is? Yes, Mohamed Mubarak. It's a Mohammed. company. Oh, okay. Yeah, Mohamed Mubarak is my name. But mm. we love Mutaka. Mutaka yeah, is Mutaka nice. Is much mm. easier to yeah. carry. carries the weight. Yes, <laughs> exactly. That's my surname. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm really very a privileged person. Mm. When I say privileged, I mean, if you look at the pit, Thank where you. I had to uh, struggle to come up, mm. I almost didn't believe I would be where I am. Wow. I mean, my hope. Was growing was my children could get to where I am. Not, I mean, I didn't give myself the least of chance to get here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, 14th born of my father, mm. first born of my mother. I mean, in Ababo, where we don't go to school, we go to Ababo in Ashanti yes, region. Ababo, yeah. Ababo okay. extension, not far away from the airport. Okay. Mm. I mean, you 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 go taking care of the uh, the cattle, my father's mm. cattle. You thank you. You go to Makaranta. You, you go hawk support my mother. My mother was a cocoa seller, so okay. you 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 help her to prepare the cocoa and sell it. And you know, in uh, our community, I'm called the lad, a Sunday birth. Mm. Oh, okay. And I'm um, the firstborn. The second one is also a boy. The mm. third is a boy. The mm. fourth is a boy. Wow. The fifth is a boy. Ooh. Oh, okay. The sixth became it was it then it then comes a girl. Okay. Right. So I have to learn to do everything that uh, a, a child, girl would a normally female do. girl would normally do to yeah. assist uh, the mother. So I mean and you are ten years, your colleagues are in class four and it's like you will not go to school. Then miracles happen, then the old man changes his mind. Mm. Ah, but I would think we have to try it. So, oh, but you, you are almost past the age. Yeah. Because you go at seven, eight. No, mm -hmm. you, you are almost 11. So, after you, you, there is like. Pass the school going. Yeah, you pass the. Oh, I'll, I'll. But they will laugh at you because mm. you are tall. They will <laughs> laugh at you. So, better concentrate and let's take care of the animals. I'll give it a try. And you start with the one after you, the one after that one, mm -hmm. the one after, I mean, five siblings. Mm -hmm. You start the same day in the class, and you are the wow. tallest in the class, and wow. everybody's laughing at you. Yeah. And it's like, hey, can I really march on? Well, and you keep marching on till you finish your master's. Mm. I mean, this is this is no child's play. So which no school was I mean. this? I mean, I started at Babu LA, mm -hmm. Babu MA Primary. Then went to Calvary International, then Central International, mm. then Tamale Secondary School. So I went to three primary schools. Yeah. Okay. Uh, as the my mother's income level changes, <laughs> 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 then yeah. the school also changes. Yeah. Mm. So because obviously by the time I was growing, my father was old. Mm. Mm. I mean, I mean, I was his 14th born. So yeah. Yeah. Wow. yeah, obviously. Yeah. So Tamale Secondary School, uh, O level, then uh, Technology Secondary School to do sit form. Mm. Then KNUST to do the first degree, mm. and then back to KNUST to do the masters. And the last time I was in school was 2004. Okay. Oh, okay. Yes. So it's, it's it's not been easy, but very interesting. Mm. I mean, and uh, I remember when we were in, in C form, and Technology Secondary School is a day school, mm. Mm. and uh, around the the cabin there's a private hostel, so you try to go there and. I mean, you don't have anybody supporting you. Mm. So you, the struggle to even feed yourself. Mm. And I tell you, you, you eat something once in a day. Mm. So mm. What, what about your older siblings? Mm -hmm. You know, well, we, 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 that's from you your know, father's side. We're, we're, so we're, yes, we're in a yes. programmer's home. And uh, my father had a total of seven. Uh, Wives. Married two total seven. My mother was a third wife. Mm. Uh, so the other siblings, you know the rivalry in the home? Mm. Yeah. Uh -huh. And it's like the first wife had nine children, only one boy. Wow. And the second one had four, only one boy. And these were really very senior to us. Mm -hmm. So, and I mean, with all humility, my sisters are pretty. So they get married early. No, you're handsome. <laughs> so it's understandable. My sisters are pretty. So they get married early. So it's yeah. like most of the time, all of them are not around. Mm. My mother ran in the house for seven years without giving birth. Really? And almost the family is like, oh, you see, I have other children, and this is my sister. She says she's not giving birth. She will divorce her. She could go and marry somewhere mm. and have children. And my grandfather would say, no, 
I'm telling you, the time will come. The time will come. Then the time came, and they gave it to me. I had sight problem. I had hearing problem. I could not speak till I was four. Wow. What, what happened? Like, what kind of child is this? Um, wow. Is this they going to survive? Mm -hmm. So sometimes <laughs> when people are at, at my neck, oh, remove him. I say, you don't know my, the circumstances of my bed. If you don't know my bed, you don't know what you're saying. Child. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, well, I mean, we are grateful to God. The old man is dead. I mean, he mm. died some, uh, interesting, he died on my wedding day. Oh. Some 23 years ago. In, in, in wow. the Zongos, the marriage starts on Thursday. Yeah. So the, the lady will be, will be uh, isolated for the lele and the, the ceremony mm. starts then Friday, Saturday, then the ceremony will happen on Sunday. Mm. So my, my, my first wife had gone into mm. isolation Thursday. Then Friday we wake up, the old man was not feeling well. And it's like, oh, we have to go back to the hospital. Then we're there around 8.30 p.m. They came, I couldn't believe it. The old man is gone. Wow. And the imam says, no, the two ceremonies, none can cancel the other. So they must go concurrently. Wow. So the wedding is going yes. on, burial also has yes. to take place. But you know, interestingly, it, 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 it brought something that I keep telling my concerns. Mm -hmm. All the plan, the plan party, and all those things have to be cancelled off. Mm -hmm. And believe me, that became the foundation of our business. So my, wife, my first wife and I, we have a business called Mubzi. The okay. M U B is Mubarak, is Mubarak, Mubarak. Yeah. and then the Z is Zainab. So Zainab, we have okay. Mubzi. Okay. And the business is up to date, doing very well. So what does the business? Started, mm -hmm. We started with that seed money. Okay. Oh, okay. We first started with uh, uh, because I was in K in USD, at USD, at Gate. So we started with photocopying. Mm -hmm. It moves to typesets. Mm -hmm. Then it moves to laminating, binding. Then internet came. We started an internet cafe. Whilst well, you were students. Yeah. Uh, before before I, I left K in USD, I was paying. I was uh, I was uh, I was employed by eight people. Wow. Uh, wow. Because we had That's three cool. other centers in Kumasi. And then we went into poetry. Mm. So you just keep rotating. So I keep telling people, I've never done one thing in my life. Just, just one thing. Yeah. No, no, no. Almost uh, that you do multiple things. Mm. And thank God, this is where we are. But you have always been business-minded. But yeah. did you ever think you were going to go into politics? No, no. I mean, I was just a fan of uh, politics. Mm. I mean, when I was in... I've been class prefect, I've been class monitor, all those mm. things. I mean, and that's the political exactly. case. Exactly. Even in KNUST, I mean, you occupy one thing, I've been a member of the SRC and those things. But politics as, a, as it is now, yeah. no, no, I never invested yet. So what happened? Well, I mean, I always support uh, the political party that I, I, I believe in. I've been a pool agent before, I've been a branch executive. So anytime they are doing things, I support. Then a friend in 1996 yeah. became the candidate for NDC in a very bizarre way. Mm. Because they have gone for primaries. They elected Dr. Golo. Your water. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. I've elected Dr. Golo. Mm. Then our people came gang up and said, oh, no, 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 after that community, they want a Muslim. Okay. okay. And then the late President Rawlings brought Dr. Golo and said, oh, Dr. this is a challenge. So we wanted to, even though we won the primaries, we want to change the candidate. Then Dr. Golo said, oh, okay, I agree. But all those that contested me and lost, I don't want any of them. Mm -hmm. If they can get a Zongo boy who is graduate, I will let go for him. But I won't allow non-graduates who mm -hmm. have contested me and the people have voted me yeah. to replace me. Mm -hmm. So the set started. And then my friend Musa Ahmed mm -hmm. was picked. So because of him, and then there's a, I got closer yeah. mm. to support a friend so that he can win. Unfortunately, he won. Mm -hmm. And 1990, he came to parliament. Mm. By 2000, because maybe apparently he hasn't really planned it and gone through primaries and those yeah. things, he had become so unpopular. Mm. Mm. He couldn't soak the pressure. So, but you know that time, 
NDC candidates are announced from Accra. Yeah. <laughs> His name was announced again mm -hmm. for the 2000 election. Mm -hmm. And then he stood and unfortunately we lost. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we lost the C2 MPP, Dr. Bafu Boni. Mm -hmm. And now he left for America. But because I assisted him in the 96 and the 2000, yeah. then it's like anytime the party needed anything, they would come to me. Then I would just assist. Mm. Then there was this idea, no, you have to stand. I said, oh, no, I'm not interested. Get anybody and I'll support that yeah. person. Then Dr. Jibu Imed, who was a very good man, philanthropist, mm. was assisting a lot in the community. He, he emerged and through support, I thought I became his campaign manager. Mm. So we have to do, try to correct the mistakes of Musa Ahmed yeah. through the campaign. Mm. We did all those things and fortunately he won. Mm -hmm. He came to parliament and he did 39 days and died. Yeah, wow. that was unfortunate. That was terrible, yeah. 2005, I remember that. That yeah. was so shocking to all of us. Mm -hmm. Now NDC have lost the 2004 election. Mm -hmm. Our, can, our MP had come to Parliament and had done only 39 days. Yes. He died in February. And now they needed a candidate that the party would not have to spend so much money. Yeah. And everybody is pointing at me. And I kept running away. <laughs> and I mean, I, just, I finished my master's. Remember I told you yeah. the last yeah. house was good, 2004. I finished yeah. my master's. I was doing very well in the Coco uh, and uh, Lance's buying company, Ejima mm -hmm. Power Limited. I mean, I was there. Head of research, monitor evaluation, okay. which are the operations manager. So I, I, I said, no, no, I can't do it. Just get anybody. I'll support. No, yeah. Don't worry. Get anybody. Then I remember the speaker today. So yeah. I remember oh, when he became, day. when he became speaker. Mm. Then he was talking. I said, no. I'm only paying back what you mm. did for me. So that explains that your lights. moves. Yeah. That, we'll come to that moves later. So, I, so it means your, your relationship yeah. goes way exactly. back. Yeah. So it, yeah. it explains why you would have to defend. Then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And drove to my house. Spoke to my mother. In Kumase? Yes. Look, we want your son to stand by. He came with the then regional imam. Mm. And, and if there's one person I don't joke with in my life, it's my mother. Mm. Mm. Then my mother got upset. Is she still around? She's still alive. Great. And she's, she's the queen. Oh. She's our queen. Great. You small boy, all these big guys are coming and you are saying you won't stand. What do you think you are? <laughs> Who do you think you are? My friend. What kind of rubbish is this? Yeah. <laughs> Better go and tell them you stand. <laughs> go and do that thing. So I then said, okay, my mother is putting pressure. Can we have a deal? Mm. Then Baba said, what is it? So look. I will go for one term. So that the one term, you use it to prepare yes, and get a candidate. Else. And then I'll wash my hand. Yeah. So no problem. I'm still doing the one term. Yeah. I'm still doing the one term. <laughs> <laughs> still doing the one term. Yeah. So, so, so I mean, how have you done? Are you some, changer. you know, some special child? Because you now, you yeah. were born with some yeah, yeah, yeah. special <laughs> things and you are here now. But, I mean, I do things with my heart. Mm. Okay. Yes. And mm. because I did planning, Maybe, I would say it's by his grace, it's by God's grace. He, I mean, when I'm a Muslim and my belief is that when Allah wishes you for something, he gives you the understanding, the wisdom to go around it, yeah. then you become successful. Mm. So right from the day I entered parliament, I had clearly, clear, clear on my mind. I was not here to serve myself. Okay. I was here to sell people because let me tell you I was earning that time around say 150 today like 1.5 million mm. okay and when I came to parliament and I saw the pay slip then it was like 57 mm -hmm. that's 570 yeah. cities yeah that's almost one third of what I was earning and, before I came mm -hmm. to parliament so right from the word go I knew I was in terms of finances I was in trouble yeah so the only thing left is the service. Yeah. Mm. So I asked myself, in 10 years, how do I want my consensus to look like? Yeah. We were last in everything. Mm -hmm. I mean, where I live in my consensus now, Bobby, they didn't have light. Okay. They didn't have water. Mm. Parkosu didn't have light. Part of us, common pond, didn't have light. There were a lot of, we didn't come as yeah. didn't even have electricity. After the route, I mean, we were like the forgotten part of Kumasi. Yeah. Because, excuse me to say, people say that that just largely slump. 
and purely Zongo people yeah. with all the challenges of crime yeah. and all the difficulties, school dropout. I mean, I can bet you there were times that if you were in a doom and you want to pick a taxi driver after 6 p.m. and say, oh, I'm going to Ababo, he won't go. No. Yeah. Oh, this place is... So with all this other background, and if 10 people came to me as a Dendia MP seeking assistance, eight of them will be talking about themselves. Mm. You hardly get people come to you talk about their children's education. Yeah. Okay. So, and I always tell people, I mean, when people go and see the infrastructure and they say, oh, you've done well, I say, well, with all humility, my biggest success is managing to change the mindset of my people okay. to prioritize education. Mm. Today, if I sit in the office and 10 people come, I can bet you nine are coming to talk about how to better their children's education. education. Wow. wow. And for me, succeeding in changing their mindset mm. to prioritize education above any other thing is one of my biggest success. If mm. today I cease to be their MP, one thing that I can look back and say, I thank God that I've been able to do successfully is that every child in my constituency go to school down. Mm. And I'm, I'm, I'm happy because today I have so many doctors that I can point, oh, I encourage him to go to school, yeah. I give him scholarship to finish SS, today is a medical doctor. Mm. And you see that many of them come back to the community yeah. to do community yeah. engagement and yeah. that. And that, that, that's very fulfilling for, yeah. for, for, for me. And it's a great legacy that you sure. are leaving for your people. Yeah. That's, you right. Know? that's right. We're going to go into the 2020 election, mm -hmm. the <laughs> events preceding the election, yeah. Yeah. and of course the events that characterize that night yeah. of the Constitution among of the Eighth Parliament. Among <laughs> but we're going on a break. Uh -huh. When we come back, we'll go into that particular subject. Remember, the show is brought to you by Vodafone. The future is exciting. You ready? <laughs> We'll be right back. Welcome back, guys. We have a in studio, the honorable member of parliament for the Aswasi constituency, uh, Mohammed Mubarak Muntaka. Triple uh, wow. M. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's been giving us some interesting stuff about his childhood. Quite, yeah. quite, quite interesting. Well, it's, I mean, it's been a journey on its own, but now yeah. he's in parliament. Yeah. Uh, he's been in parliament for a while. We just ended an election and we've constituted the eighth up. Uh, Parliament. Yeah. We want to talk about the issues that preceded uh, the 2020 general elections. There was the voter registration mm -hmm. exercise. Well, you came up against uh, on the side of the MPP. I think the MCE for us. Yeah. 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 Yes. And then, I mean, the registration exercise we saw yeah. in the news, the issues mm -hmm. that came up. What was it for you? Having done politics all this, well, while, I, when you sat I, back, I, what I, did you see was happening? I, I could see clearly mm. there was a grand plan to read this 2020 election. But you see, when you are in a, in a group, and I always tell my peers, like those in the uh, Volta region, mm. and those in uh, say some part of Northern region, some of the are strong hosts. I said, you, 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 you just go through a, a family uh, battle. Mm. You don't really go through a fight. Yeah. We do. Because where I sit as a Swansea, if I blink, I'm gone. Well, look, I'm surrounded by six constituencies. Mm. Kwaburi East, that will win with a margin of over 70,000. Mm -hmm. Ejusu, that will win with a margin of over 50,000. Mm. Ofurukrom, that will win with a margin of over 30,000. Subin, that will win with a margin of over 30,000. Yeah. And Menshia North and Menshia South. It goes without saying. And, I mean, you are Kumasi people, you are, you are Americans. <laughs> <laughs> and you just cross. You, yeah. don't, you don't need to be bass. Yeah. You don't need to be, I mean, it's just, I mean, if you know the terms of Yeah. yeah. The streets, mm -hmm. is there between Aswansi and Menshia? Yeah. 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 I get the name. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You just walk across. Just walk. Yeah. yeah. And my view was that, I mean, they are not here to maybe defend themselves. They had hatched a scheme mm -hmm. to do heavy importing of people. Mm. into Aswansi. I mean, if you look at the circumstances of me becoming a member of parliament, mm -mm. I mean, my people have done so much for me. I mean, who, are, who, who am I? Muntaka, Muntaka. I mean, I believe I were one of the richest persons from Aswansi. My name will not be where <laughs> it is today. Mm -hmm. so if they've given me this opportunity, by way of electing me again, again, and again, 
And at any point, they decide that, no, we've had enough of you. We want to change. I should still be thanking them. Yeah. I don't have to be good them. Mm -hmm. But you see the scheme is not to use the people of Aswansi mm -hmm. to remove me, but to bring people who do not even know Aswansi yeah. to remove me. That was the, the problem. Mm -hmm. You wanted to twist and virtually destroy our democracy. Mm -hmm. And then you win your election yeah. amongst your other colleagues. Yeah. And so you are in parliament yes. on the um, 6th of January. Yeah. yeah. What happened? What meeting went on? Who brought the idea that <laughs> let us go to Parliament at 9 p.m. when the whole thing was supposed to happen around but midnight? Is, is it true you, you guys lodged at a particular hotel? Yeah, what happened? Well, let me, let me say, I mean, the WHIP's office uh -huh. consists of two deputies. Yeah. And then every, every WHIP worth it mm. knows the strength and the weakness of every member of his caucus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I couldn't rely on the new ones who were coming because yeah. I didn't really know many of them. Mm. But I had the continuous MP and I was 74 of that. And I needed to have a group mm. that will help the WHIP's office to execute this. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why I was telling my colleagues that, look, whilst we were planning and organizing and strategizing, they were just rattling and threatening their members. <laughs> Instead of them to plan and strategize. Yeah. Yeah. And I believe that the day was won by those who plan, mm -hmm. organize, and strategize. Mm -hmm. And that was us. So we had, I had, we had this group mm -hmm. that even the leader doesn't, cannot tell who were, they were. Mm -hmm. It was only me, my deputies, mm -hmm. and them. Okay. So nobody else knew. Mm -hmm. So all we say is that, look, when the day comes, everybody, yours is to listen to the whip. Okay. Mm. You are older than me. Some of you are my seniors in parliament. Mm. Some of you have children my age. Yeah. But on the sixth mm. to the seventh, mm. everybody, including the leader, will have to take instructions from the whip. Okay. Mm. We had five objectives. Mm -hmm. The first objective was that they are refusing to talk to us mm. okay. because they believe they have won 38. Mm. We need to prove to them that going into this parliament, we need to be talking to each other. Mm. Yeah. That's the only way we can get government to run. Yeah. But it starts from tonight. Mm. Yeah. And we must beat them to it. And I will tell you, four days before the day, mm -hmm. our party and us have not decided that we will contest a speaker. Mm. Okay. Because we we're hoping that they were going to reach out. Okay. So that we could use the reaching out as a beginning to maybe call for the first deputy speaker. Mm. And they were not. Because obviously they were arrogant about it and they were. Because they full felt of they were an outright they majority. They were so the whole idea was <laughs> to frustrate the inauguration. Look, we wanted them to. Uh, no, we wanted them to appreciate that we were a force to reckon with. with. Okay. That in this parliament, uh -huh. you could not just run over this minority yeah. and think that. It will be business as usual. Mm. Mm. So if we're going for it, I have to work a strategy mm. for a possible win. Mm -hmm. So I started infiltrating their camp. And whips have deep, 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 deep ears. Mm. So now I pick their list. Who and who that I know are head on their side. Mm. Whether from their primaries mm. or from them not being given ministerial position. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm or the party has done something to them. Mm -hmm. So I itemized all that and I had 35. Wow. So I had to now engage every single one, one of the 35. You did that? Yes. But did you look at those who had problems with yeah. the then speaker? All of them. I, I, when I'm talking about they have problems, mm. it is having problem with either the president yeah. Having problem with either the party, party. or having problem with the yes, speaker, yes, speaker or having problem with the majority leader. Some way, somehow, you are not happy. You exactly. are not happy. Yeah. You are just not happy. Yeah. So I and you are 35. And I'm 35. Wow. wow. And I started reaching out. And believe me, and I'm sure my party leaders, if they are listening, <laughs> they, will, they will laugh at this. At the point, I almost gave up. Because after meeting almost like 20, it's like, ah, Monteka, what are you asking for? Hey, this is a tall order. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, it cannot be. It's true. Hey. Look, my party will find out, mm -hmm. and they will skin me alive. <laughs> so was that so why? after that, about yeah. the 20th mm -hmm. person, it was like, no, this, one this is a mission impossible. Mm -hmm. So we came to me and said, look, if they are not reaching out, why not also reach out? 
No, 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 no. Why must we reach out? I mean, we are already down. Yeah. We don't fear falling. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Then give me some three, four days more. Then the three, four days produce a magic. Wow. Because when you're talking to somebody who is uh -huh. hurt, yeah. and he's telling you straight, no, 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 this is not possible. Please, I mean, I can't get involved. You, you outright lose hope. Mm -hmm. But you're talking to someone, you try to say, hmm, what I think is true. Hmm. <laughs> but he's not saying anything. Mm -hmm. The hope that you can yeah. push. <laughs> so now, from 35, I zero down to 5. Mm. Mm -hmm. So I went to a meeting and I said, yeah, look, I'll shock you guys, I'll produce, a, I'll produce a speaker. Oh, please. I said, well, I'll shock you, I'll produce a speaker. I mean, what do you mean? I said, all I need is to have my 137 intact. If I can keep all my 137 yeah. intact, I will shock all of you, I'll produce a speaker. Mm. So you know, which kind of person do we then put forward? We need to put in someone who had been in the house for long, mm -hmm. who generally members have respect. Yeah, for Who has friends too. Because once you stay in the house for long, you have friends on both sides. Yeah. So that people know he may not be too antagonistic. Mm. Yeah. So we talk, oh, this person, that person, this person, then the party settled on Barbie. Okay. But who, who are some of the names that came up? Why should I be telling you this? <laughs> 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 uh, who are some so, of the names that came up? Who's name came up again? Came up, okay. But we juggle and then we settle on mm. Barbie. Yeah. Then I, 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 I spoke to him. I said, I mean, you know, I've been his whip. Yeah. yeah. As a leader. I want you to have confidence that you are going to win this. He looked at me. Sure, I said yes. The, the, the victory starts with you. Mm -hmm. Mm. You having the conviction that yeah. you are going to win. Did he initially want to reject it? Because we know he was packing bag and yeah, he was packing. Politics. He was packing. In he fact, start, all this discussion uh, two weeks mm -hmm. before then, mm. yeah. I was doing with him. What okay. strategy we should adopt? Mm. What, because he's been my leader. I've yeah. been his whip. And you know, one of the longest seven. Yeah. yeah. So he has very experienced. Maybe you should do this. Or maybe, why not do that? Why not do that? He never thought it was he coming never, to his doorstep. He didn't know that all was, the things yeah. will finally. That's why sometimes when something is happening, contribute positively. Yeah. Because, I mean, you, you may not know. know. You may you be doing the beneficiary. Yeah. yeah. So he did. I, I started this the two weeks that mm. they were constantly talking to him. Yeah. The final one, the thing came to his lap. That said that, but. If you convince yourself you win, you also have to get up and start working. Yeah. Can you talk to this person? Talk to that person. Talk to that person. You know, remember I've told you I've told you yeah. five. No. So, the, so the five people you have your short list. The, the five people <laughs> yeah. are they known people? Mm -hmm. I mean, popular people in you the NPP. No, I'm not saying mention. <laughs> no, I'm not saying mention names. Are but you know, people we know, are these people that we yeah. know that should their names come out? We'll be shocked. I won't give you that. No, are they popular people? I'm not saying mention their names. I won't give you that clue. Are they popular people? Because you see, the, the, the reason I say I won't give you that clue mm -hmm. is that there are a lot of accusations going on. Yeah. And I look at the list that they accuse, and I laugh with my head. That's a real are too crowd. You are too But they are popular yeah. people. But if I give you a clue, I'll be betraying oh, no, the trust. Are, and yeah. Yeah. This yeah. was done under a lot of trust. And yeah. look, let me, believe me. There was the oath of secrecy. There was this thing about national interest. Mm -hmm. I think that trick worked for me. Okay. I said, look, believe me, it's not because you are hurt. With this kind of parliament, if we have a speaker that can help us to oversight the government, yeah. it will lead to the benefit of the whole country. Yeah. yeah. Just see that contribution of yours in that light, mm -hmm. not your head. Mm -hmm. That if you get a speaker that can help this house mm -hmm. to oversight the executive properly, Mm. This country will be better off. Mm. Yeah. My next question, <laughs> I want us to see, you know, pictures of what happened in Parliament yes. that night. Mm -hmm. Papers. Someone has taken the uncounted ballot papers. Is that Carlos Ahinkra? Yeah, Carlos. That's Carlos Ahinkra, isn't it, of Tema West? And uh, he's been attacked. Um, I am, I am not sure, but that looks so much. Like it is Carlos Ahinkra, won by two extra ballots. The MPP side is as dead as a grave. Uh, I do not understand 
why uh, this uh, would be happening. <laughs> All right, so uh, have you no, seen these no, videos no, before? No, 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 have you watched them? No. Oh, you haven't. <laughs> But did you but see yourself in there? Did you see yourself in there? Because at a point no. you were diving, no. we were yeah. flying, you know, to just mm -hmm. is it because of the strategy you had? That is mm -hmm. why you were strictly preventing the NPP side from showing their votes out. You know, let me let me let me say, I mean I mean we owe this the people of this country an apology. Yeah. No, oh, for that yeah, you no, do. No, that you no, do. We owe yeah. the people we no this cannot be right maybe you can apologize on no, behalf no, of all no, of them no, we will no, accept no, on behalf no, of Ghanaians. No, i think uh, parliament we can do better than this mm. i mean this is very humiliating yeah we can't okay. we can't people cannot queue from morning to evening to elect us to come and be doing this i'm really very sorry i mean I'm sad what what I've seen. That Apology accepted. This chaotic yeah. thing. No, no, I mean we should we could have been more decent yeah. than it is. And now people are saying that oh, but I'm going to get that day. Ah, you were you were violent. My apologies. I really wish it didn't get there. I mean with the chaotic day I've seen. Did you give Carlos an inquest and blows? <laughs> I don't even remember. No, no, no. Oh, it's not like we're doing it's a movie. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I mean, you, uh, and we're bashing you on social media, yeah, all yeah. of you. Yeah, yeah. That was, I mean, what we did was not right. Yeah. All of us were wrong. And I really wish this never happened. Mm. But you see, now they have planned, mm -hmm. they will break the law. Mm -hmm. I go to complain to the clerk who in this was the chair. And it's like he's not capable of doing anything. Must I allow the law to be broken? I know that I'm clothed with the People's uh, Representative Act. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That says that the electoral officer, the clerk, the candidate, or their agent mm. have a responsibility of ensuring that the ballot is secret. Yeah. If I have a clerk who can order his marshal to do ensure that he's not doing it, mm and sitting down helpless mm -hmm. and the first person goes to vote then he shows i try to tell him that no once we've shown it i won't allow you to put it in yeah. the box mm -hmm. it, then can, there's a scaffold yeah then everybody again, oh he showed it so that one nullify we should start over again he goes to vote again he still shows it i don't want to have a scaffold with him mm -hmm. so i pick the box to the chair yeah. Mm -hmm. Remember, I'm also an electoral officer at yeah. that time. Mm -hmm. Based yeah. on the law. Yeah. I'm part because I'm an agent. Mm -hmm. Look, take the boss. He won't put it in because he has shown it. He's yeah. breaking the law. Yeah. That's what I did. Mm -hmm. Then another scaffold happened. Then the third time, he tried to still show it. That's yeah. when others went up and yeah. started booting the, the, the same, boots the and all. And all then now we have to now do what yeah. we fail to do from the beginning. Which was? To go into conclave mm -hmm. and talk. Yeah. Now we went into conclave and we had to agree yeah. on the do's and the don'ts. Okay. And when we came back, there was harmony okay. for the process to go. Mm -hmm. That this process will never go on mm -hmm. unless it is by secret because mm -hmm. that is constitutional, yeah. that is supported by standard orders. Mm -hmm. We should be seen respecting, not even if not uh, standing orders, mm. the constitution. Mm -hmm. So we cannot be seen breaking the law. Yeah. Mm. So we all agree and then come back and they have to abandon their, their, the, showing their, their of, showing. Yeah. Yeah. And once they were showing, it was a double-edged sword. Because remember, they were also infiltrating my camp. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I had seven people that I, I had my doubts. Mm, from them. your camp. <laughs> yes. You also had your Judases. <laughs> because they also have concerns. Of course. Mm -hmm. Just as this who has said, they were yeah. not being talked to. Mm -hmm. I now use that as a, say, hey, now I'm talking to those who have concern, they have not been listened to. What about my dad? Exactly. Yeah. I'm not talking to. So mm -hmm. I started talking to them. And I did not only stop there. I got a party hierarchy mm -hmm. to talk to them individually. Okay. To tell them what. Is that all what, took talking to? Oh, or no. you had to go the extra no, mile to no, grease no. some pounds? No, no. That one, and I, mm. and I say it, and that's why I felt very offended. Because the, the rumor mill has been very, very busy well, after that. After the rumor mill, it was there. Mm. But the bottom line was that we needed to get people to talk to them to appreciate what was at stake. Mm. And those concerns that they had, I'm the whip. Yeah. We are doing the committee. Mm -hmm. You could be, it could be managed. I mean, yeah. the last time I was not put on this committee and I was not this. 
we can deal with all this. Yeah. But for now, let's go into this thing as a united group. Mm -hmm. yeah. Even in West scenario, mm -hmm. that we don't get the speaker. Yeah. I want it to seven must stand. Yeah. yeah. To mean that we are together. We are together. So I managed to get that before the day. <laughs> but that might not be bad for Carlos. Yeah. We saw what he did. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we saw you also flying. Yeah. You know. <laughs> because I couldn't imagine all my 12 going to a dance. Yeah. Because you see, when we sorted, I mean, I heard this, we were not sorted. You are not there. Yeah. You were there. You know, usually they will upload all the content of the box. Yeah. Then I suggested, and the whip opposite agreed. This is not 1,000 votes. This is not 500. This is not 700. This is 275. Mm. Can we leave the ballot in the box and pick them yeah. one by one? So yeah. we'll be sorting. Yeah. So by the time we pick the last one out, we know we'll where, have sorted. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll be counting to make sure that it is 275. Yeah. Yeah. So as we pick, we're not only sorting them, but we're, we're making sure that well. yeah, the, the, there was no double. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, so, and we had this. Now we have a hip, this hip, that hip. And then there was one. That one, I was, I did risk because it was for Barbie. Mm. You know, Barbie was nominated first. Yeah. And you know, we had a lot of elder people among us. I want to believe that the person was sleepy. Mm -hmm. So when he went, because Barbie was nominated first, he thought he would be number one. Okay. So after he voted, then he realized, no, no, number one is Professor Michael Quinn. Ah. So the person canceled. Yeah. With and now head. voted right. Mm. So yeah, you can was... see clearly the intention. Yeah. yeah. It is not that a person ticked here and ticked there. No. Oh, okay. The person but then it becomes a sports by the not. Isn't it? Okay. Because the intention is very clear. Mm. Well, but then the intention is not what is represented. No, I mean, the, the, the is then very, it's a sports the person ballot, is it? Because you could see that he ticked. Mm. He or she ticked. Yeah. And then cancelled. Cancelled. Mm. And then ticked here. The so I thought one. that the intention is very clear. Yeah. But it was becoming because obviously it was obviously for, for, they won't for agree. me. Uh -huh. so, won't agree. Then so. my daughter said, show it to me. Ah, I'm going to get this one. I said, by the intention, oh, I said, fine. Just put it as well. Mm. So we kept it as well. Now I wanted to count that of Barbin first. But I see, whilst we were there, my brother and colleague, mm. I know don't pray, we were mm -hmm. talking. I mean, and we're discussing how we can work together mm. and those things. So I thought that I needed to show the first goodwill. Mm. So, because he was holding that of Professor Quay. Yeah. Okay. I wasn't holding anything. I mean, okay. It was uh, our clerk, Jetro, mm -hmm. who was holding that of Babin. So I wanted to say, since you are holding that of Michael Quay, let me count this one mm -hmm. first. Yeah. Then we can count yours, because you are holding yours. Yes. I'm not holding mine. Yeah. But I said, oh, let's count this one. I said, mm -hmm. okay, no problem. Let's count. Yeah. So we counted, and it was 136. Mm. Mm -hmm. So then why I need one thirty six? <laughs> if I had even the small one to read, mission accomplished. So I gave my people. Yeah, too sure. <laughs> so <laughs> how did you how did you feel after that? No, I, I was I was I was really I can't describe how I was feeling. Mm. Yeah. But for the avoidance mm. of doubt, mm. I just wanted us to count. Yeah. yeah. And finish. I'm sure for the for the parliament issues, <laughs> yeah. we, we can go on yeah, and on and on. on. But let's also look at um, some of the work you've done in yeah. in the course of your political career. Yeah. You've also held ministerial appointments, yes. mm. and that hasn't gone without controversies. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah, you remember when you were um, sports minister? Yeah. We had all <laughs> the chinchinka <laughs> and the diapers. Did you yeah. use <laughs> our money to chew chinchinka? Uh, Did you use our um, money to I buy mean, diapers? What was it? The interesting thing is that I learned a lot of lessons from that. I've argued again and again, and I, I still hold the 2009 audit report of the ministry. Mm -hmm. None of the accusation is there. But where did that come from? I don't know. I mean, I, I, I always say this with a lot of humility. In life, things come your way, mm -hmm. and you will never understand until later in the future. Mm. I mean, believe me, almost all the people that I mm. thought or believe were part of the orchestrations. Have left politics and I'm selling it. Mm. Mm. Who, which people? Uh, <laughs> they are troublemaker. But they've left. <laughs> but they've left. They've left, so politics, they've left politics and I'm, and I'm still in it. Because they were extreme mm. exaggeration and lies that unfortunately nobody will believe you. Mm -hmm. Because those who are accusing you 
are people that are seen to be close to you. Yeah. yeah. And it is your word against theirs. Yeah. There are no evidence, but it is your word against their word. And we don't expect and you to also yeah, admit. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. So, naturally, exactly. Uh, people exactly. Will but say, you will say yes, you didn't. Who, 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 who you won't admit. Of course. And they will not also come and admit that, oh, we lied. Yeah. So no. the thing will linger on. So yeah. you push all this thing behind you. Did, did it make no, you want to quit politics? Let, let me tell you. Maybe if that hadn't happened to me, mm. maybe by now I would have been out. Mm. Yeah. But because that happened to me, and I realized that people wanted to use that to remove me in 2012, mm. I said that this game, if I have to quit, I have to quit on my terms, yes. not on other people's terms. Yeah. So I fought and fought very well to and won the point. 2012 election and then became the whip. Then as a whip, you can't quit and yeah. leave your people in the middle of the street. So oh, let me go with your mama when he's quitting, then we'll quit together. Then your mama lost the 2016. Yeah. Then I became the whip again. Mm -hmm. Then how do you quit? Yeah. So if I were, I'd remain a minister, probably. But now I wouldn't be here. Mm. So I always see it as God's way of directing your affairs in your life. Why <laughs> did you let your daughter also th <laughs> print the oh, ballot paper? People. No, listen. Uh -huh. This is a small girl. <laughs> yes. Who, in all fairness, and yes. fairness I mean, truth. If today you call my daughter Khadija and ask her, that day, what even happened? She can't You don't explain. even know. It is, for example, you and I, two adults. Yes. I'm not supposed to show you to you. Mm -hmm. I get it. It's just like when the constitution talks about sanity. Mm -hmm. yeah. You are doing something with greater respect, somebody who is insane. They say yeah. the law cannot hold somebody hold. who is insane. Yeah. And that's why you also have minors. Mm. The law exempt minors mm. from so many things. Yeah. And this was a girl. I'm, we're a fan of each other. And daddy, I want to see what are you doing? Mm. I said, oh, I'm going to vote Mahama Pepper. So, <laughs> so it's Mahama Pepper picture on there. Uh -huh. I said, come and see it. Uh -huh. And then I show it to her and say, oh, so this is how we vote. Uh -huh. And then that becomes news. Because you were a newsmaker. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're not an ordinary You know, so citizen. talking about news yeah. and taking a pause, <laughs> you know, we have some teasers, you know, from where we are coming from. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. That. So, so what, what is um, Aso? Mm -hmm. Aso, come on. We've been talking. <laughs> but what's the home like when you're home, away from parliament, away from politics? What I spend a lot of time with the family. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have seven kids. Four with the first have you brought one. any of them here, or you always go back to Kumasi? No, no, no. The second one is in Kumasi, mm. okay. and the first one is in Accra. Of, uh, the, the two are now the first two are now adults. Okay. Mm. Uh, so they are they are in KNUST. I mm. mean, mm. one is almost finishing his clinicals at okay. Okay. Oh wow! So we spend a lot of time together. Mm. Do one, you see one. yourself becoming the flag bearer of your party someday? People ask me then, I tell them that, look, every politician, your ultimate, is that like a lawyer and his aim of becoming attorney general? Yeah. Mm. And, or a judge, a judge who wants to become the chief justice. justice mm. yeah. I mean, you may be a, a circuit court judge mm. or a magistrate judge. Yeah. If people ask you, oh, in future, would you want to be the chief justice? How do you say no? Mm. Because once you are a judge, mm -hmm. That's the ultimate the, for the every ladder. dad. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So if people ask, I'm a politician. They say, oh, do you hope to be a flag bearer? How can I say no? Mm. Okay. Then so, why am I so, in this? So, I yeah. But is this something that I'm going to fight today, tomorrow? No. Mm, no. But if it happens, you take yes, up. Yes, definitely. Mm. Mm. Oh, no, but hold on. Either. The food is important. <laughs> they have finished serving. Please bring the food. Yes, yeah. yeah, sort of. Please continue. I think attitude. It's is something everything. that awesome. everyone awesome. Okay. So okay. as um, they are bringing mm -hmm. our yeah. food mm -hmm. and <laughs> as we are wrapping up, getting yeah. ready to go, yeah. what one thing do you admire about President Akufuado? Let me admit, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. since he became president, I mean, we were in parliament together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But one thing that I respect and admire about him mm -hmm. is reaching out. Okay. He does that a lot. Yeah. Reaching out. Okay. Because believe me, I mean, sometimes this game can be very vicious. Mm. He may be pretending. He may not be genuine about it. Yeah. He may not be sincere about it. Mm. But I can't take that one away from him. Mm. Yeah. You get him call all of us. Mm. Okay. Leaders of both sides. Mm. Please, can we talk about mm. our differences? Does he resolve all the issues that we raise? No. But. Mm. I would say since he became president, he's met the leaders of the house, both sides, mm -hmm. at least 
maybe five times. Oh, wow. And I thought that that is something I can't take away from him. Mm. Because, I mean, I, I remember very well he would, he would tell me, Muntaka, this is your last time. <laughs> <laughs> and you go and you come we'll back. Do everything to remove you. I said, Your Excellency, I can assure you I'll be right here back. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Then I came back, the state of the nation said, Wow, you've really proven that you are top. <laughs> <laughs> and you saw, if you notice the video, yeah. he was clapping when he was at Rama. He was clapping yeah. for me. That, oh, oh wow. you are back. Yes. Oh, and wow. the, and uh, the chief, chief of staff would say, Oh, me bay. And the person said, Hmm, you have a very difficult child. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that humor mm, and that regional. Yeah. I'm saying, he may be pretending, he may not yeah. be sincere, he may not be genuine, about, but to but call that, oh, can yes. you come and let's talk? Yeah. It's something that I respect. Amazing stuff, admire. amazing stuff. Yeah. Do, you, do you listen to music? Music is not something that I do often. Mm. But when I have to, yes, yeah. I, I do. Especially when I'm in the gym, yeah. when I'm in the car, sometimes when I'm too bored, mm. yes. What type of music? I prefer Afro Afrobeat. So oh, your wow. favorite artist? <laughs> Afrobeat. I mean, in Ghana, I'm sorry, each time I say then people, my son, my second child, yeah. Baba is a fan of Shatewale. Oh, ah. Why you mention Shatewale? I say, no, <laughs> mine is Sarkodie. <laughs> oh, you have a Sarkodie. Which of the songs do you know? Uh, there's this, uh, uh, the one that he did with uh, this guy, Castro, right? Okay, Adonai. Oh, Adonai. Adonai. Okay. I like, I like that. I mean, the lyrics. Okay. Mm. Uh -huh. I, I, I like I like Maybe because of my background. So the lyrics yeah. relate to me. It means but a lot to you. Yes. Oh, unfortunately, because I'm poor at the music. But why is it I can, I can oh. be the When I look at you from afar, you appear like somebody telling this man, you can't even approach him. Oh, yeah. But, but, look, you know, but, but yeah. I've really enjoyed this conversation. Let, mm -hmm. I, I know you are ending, but let me just tell you. Yes. Politics has taken me out of character. Mm. Oh wow! Oh yes, mm. and as was in particular. Okay. Because I did planning, so you need to understand the characteristics of where you are mm. yeah. and adopt a system to be able to cope with it. Yeah. So it's it explains. In true true of me, mm. I'm a very reserved person. Mm. I don't like talking. Mm. I don't like confrontation. Mm. But the job that I find myself in, virtually, is turning me. Upside down. Yeah. Mm, like yes, on like the, the show. show. Yeah. You know, and Carlos Ahenka is not helping matters as oh, well. That's what it is. <laughs> it's upside, yeah, upside down. down. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right, Sam Rabo, yeah. thank you very much mm. for joining us. We really yeah. enjoyed your company. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been another wonderful very, conversation very with a member of parliament <laughs> for Asawasi constituency. Yeah. He's also the chief whip for the mm -hmm. NDC mm -hmm. caucus. And. Mm, is that cheese that good? It's good. Fantastic. You know, I, 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 I do cheese it okay. a lot. Yeah. So I can know that this is a good cheese. It. And we are but adding Adonai yeah. to it for mm -hmm. you. And we have to see too for you. <laughs> Shall we do all that? We double do all. Do it's been an amazing right. time. Thank you very mm -hmm. much, Asa. Mm -hmm. um, That's UF for the Tosi and, of course, Regal's Food Services for this wonderful cheese that we're enjoying. Yeah. 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 I, I wish you could also mm -hmm. taste mm -hmm. the cheese that. But hey, you can Forgive always contact Regal. <laughs> and you are sorted. Thank you very much. This has been Upside Down Show on City TV, brought to you proudly by Vodafone Ghana. The future indeed is exciting. My name is Premier Dinami. And mine is Nana Tufo. We'll catch you same time next week. Enjoy. Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>